Happy Valentine's 2015 from Agus Wade Backyard Garden. Agus Wade! And welcome everyone to Agus Wade Backyard Garden with me, Mitchell Junius Wade, and... Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy from... Uh, Washington, D.C., former Peace Corps in the beautiful nature island of Dominion. Awesome, awesome. You have to try to say Agus Wade Backyard Garden as you just said Agus Wade? Agus Wade? <laughs> Look, you know, I just want to feature Sean in a video and for him to experience I go sit back in the garden and film in life. It's going to tell me which passion food he, th we, he thinks have the most food content in it and then we will cut it and see. And I will actually just talk a bit on the different passion foods. So, tell us Sean Murphy, which one you think has the most food content? So you go with this one? Yeah. Go with this one. Okay. Now, I think... Based on experience, obviously, that is this one. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to tell you that. This one is actually a hybrid passion fruit. This is the one they usually go in Dominica to sell overseas because, as Murphy said, that the, the skin is filled harder and tougher. So that makes it a little longer for it to decompose and start getting wrinkled up. So this one is a hybrid, and this one has a is the hybrid grown from seed. So this is the child of that one. And hold it. So this is the one you will cut. And then this is a purple passion fruit. Someone gave me one passion fruit seed and I actually managed for it to grow. And pretty soon I'll be doing a video on doing the different types of passion fruit seeds. So we are gonna cut them right now. This is my number photo? No, you Okay. This is my choice, the local yellow passion fruit. Okay. <laughs> so this is my choice. Okay. Yes, sir. Wow. Actually, this thicker. is <laughs> yeah. Because that's actually amazing. This yeah, it one, might be about the same. Yeah, but yours looks like it has more white because no more, and it's much more yellow for sure. In the future. So this one is heavier. But this one looks like it has more. Why? Because it's a hybrid seed grown. What happens is that when you your hybrid plant is grown with some seed and then you plant it, the quality of the hybrid actually goes down. So it, it um, how would say that goes back to the original state, which is to be a nice, naturally grown passion fruit, and not this hybrid or how would you say that? Mm -hmm. Not lab. I don't think they actually using a lab, but it's much different from growing yeah. it like this. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna see. This one has the most content. I hope my, my measuring cup is big enough. Might not be big enough actually. But we are still So this is Sean's choice. <laughs> this is my juice. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is Sean's choice. Obviously I haven't reached the measurement skill, but we're going to do, we're going to try something here. Yeah? Okay, so let's see, what backing shall we give it? Okay, yours is reaching at this last yeah. line there, mm -hmm. so this is your choice. Let's see who's going to be the leader. I feel like you're going to be the leader. Good one. Sean won by... Oh, yeah, I have about 25% more, probably. <laughs> okay, so the best choice is actually the hybrid plant. Growing the seed of the hybrid plant. That will give you the most um, food in your passion to plant. And the local is just as good. But clearly, this one, the hybrid grown from seed, is much better. And not just much better. The good thing about that is that the skin will last very long, like you can travel with it, or just like I can give Sean Murphy some, and he can actually hold for the entire carnival season or his holiday day here, mm -hmm. and just before he goes, he can use some just with it. Uh, but if I'd given that to him, you know, by next week he has to use it. <laughs> <laughs> now this is, this is um, the hybrid, so we're just going to cut it, so I will give you, I will let you cut the oh, yeah. purple one, okay. so we'll do this one, and I, I will now this one I don't really like the hybrid much because it's big but it don't have a lot of things. Oh, okay. So this is it. Oh. 
Now as you can see, basically hollow in the middle, yeah. they haven't drawn as yet, and then on the side. Compared to this one, which had a lot, I was yeah. all together clustered. Yeah. Threaten. Careful, this one is much smaller. Don't cut the finger. Okay, so that was it. Thank you very much, Sean Murphy, for joining Agro Street Backyard Garden. Thank you very much for liking Agro Street Backyard Garden Facebook page. Thank you for subscribing to the YouTube channel. And also, thank you very much for sharing. All those of you who have liked our Facebook page, thank you very much. And we have a special guest who will sign us off. Thank you, Sean Murphy, signing off from beautiful Talia. Thank you very much. It's Agro Street Backyard Garden.